I found this really nice, it's almost silk, it's a, a drapery, but I thought it was a nice fabric because it, it, it almost looks like a shantung or almost like a silk dupioni. Here's the dress that I've sketched out, it's just a little simple something, it's, I think I'm going to put like rosettes around the neck here and it's just a simple top with a little sash, you know, I like sashes and I like rosettes. But as any designer tells you, sometimes it starts out on paper but once it gets to the mannequin it's a horse of a whole nother color. The wonderful thing about buying curtains is because it's just fabric, it's wide, it's wide and it's wide. You can cut, cut, drape, drape and have your beautiful dress. So. I'm going to get started. I'm going to start by finding the bias stretch of the fabric. I'm going to prepare to start draping the bodice. And I'm going to cut out the armhole sections. And I'm going to repeat this for the other side as well. Now I'm going to pin the upper bodice in preparation for the gathers. Now that that's done, I'm going to cut the excess fabric from the sides. And now I'm going to cut the bodice at the empire waistline. Now that that's been cut, I'm going to prepare it with the gathers and tucks also. Now the bodice is a little higher than I like, so I'm going to just cut it down some. And to make the upper bodice back, I'm going to use some fabric that I cut on the straight of the grain. And I'm going to cut it even with the front. And then I'll cut down the center back, which I'll leave a one inch seam allowance for the zipper. Now you notice I only cut one side, because I'll use this side as a pattern for the other side. Now I'm going to cut out the armhole and now I'm going to lower the back neckline just as I did the front. Now that that's done, I'm going to fine tune the sides by cutting away the excess fabric. I also cut a little bit off the length of the bodice. Now I'm ready to sew. I've already sewn the front to the back at the sides and I cut out and stitched the lining to the front and the back at the armholes. I also stitched a gathering stitch at the front neckline and now I'm going to gather it to my desired width. I'm going to do the same thing for the lower portion of the bodice. Now for the lining, I'm going to add darts instead of gathers. That'll create less bulk. Now I'm going to add my gathers to the back. I have cut out the midriff sections for the front and the back and I'm going to simply just attach it to the bodice. Now that's sewn in place, I'm going to attach the skirt. Now for the skirt I'm using a square of fabric that I cut the desired length and I'm simply going to just pleat the front to fit the midriff and I'm going to repeat the same thing for the back skirt. Now I'm just going to cut the excess from the sides of the skirt and I'm going to sew the front and the back together at the side. I'm going to use a double fold bias tape as a base to connect um, the front and the back at the neckline and this is what I'll attach my rosettes to. I'm going to open up the bias tape and I'm going to insert the front and the back inside the tape at the neckline and then I'm going to leave a little distance between the front and the back to act as the shoulders and then I'll just stitch the whole thing closed. I've cut some strips of fabric to use as my rosettes and I'm going to fold them in half letting the centers come together in the center and this will conceal the edges. I use my ruffler foot to mark these which make this process very very easy. I've also cut a wider strip of fabric to use as the background ruffle. So when you look at this ruffle, it's going to have like a 3D effect, small rows on top of the large rows. I use the same technique on this large rosette as I use in the clearance rack makeover. You have to check that video out. 
So now I'm going to attach the background ruffle to the bias tape all around the neckline. And then now I'm going to put the smaller rosette on top of the background ruffle. And I'm going to scrunch this as I go to give it that 3D effect. Now you're going to sew these ruffles onto the bodice neckline by hand. Okay, that's done. I've made a simple tie that I've attached at the sides of the dress so that when the dress is worn, the wrap just simply wraps around the waist and it's tied on the side. So I hope you try this project. Happy sewing!